What's up guys, this is Mr. Asian Pie. If anyone tells you that the Civil War was about slavery, tell them they're wrong, because they are. Well, slavery was a reason in the Civil War, but in the most convoluted sense imaginable, as it was a main factor pushing the main reason. Ultimately, back then and even now, the Civil War was about an age-old debate in our republic, state authority or federal authority. In the times leading up to the Civil War, politicians weren't debating about the morals of slavery, don't get me wrong, many were disturbed by it, but most who opposed it just saw it as a backwards economic practice. No, what they were actually debating was its expansion, and who should be able to choose its legality. Southern Whigs and Democrats argued it should be up to the people to choose whether it should be legal or not. Northern Whigs, and eventually the Republicans who will replace them, argued it should be up to the politicians and intellectuals to be able to choose whether it should be legal or not. Lincoln, several times in his career during the war, and even in his inauguration, firmly stated that the war was about preserving the Union. This is also evident in his post-war plans and even the Emancipation Proclamation where he freed the slaves. The slaves in the South, at least. If you were enslaved but were in Delaware, Maryland, Kentucky, Missouri, or New Mexico territory, Tough luck, buddy. Abraham Lincoln didn't even consider banning slavery until a certain Frederick Douglass harassed him with piles of letters that he definitely did not read. This leads us to ask, The myth about the American Civil War being about slavery stems from northern writers and storytellers who wanted to romanticize the scenes of crimson and uphold the North's society upon a hill and crusade for liberty motifs that stem back all the way to the founding of Plymouth. The spreading and institutionalizing of these teachings were also spread for the PR of the new Republican Party, who would come to dominate American politics for the next half a century. I hope you enjoyed this video and even maybe learned a little something. This has been Mr. Asian Pie. See you on the flip, and don't be stupid.